Hey guys, let's go see what's in the fridge today. Uh, good day for Australian drinkers who enjoy American adjunct lagers like Miller Junior Draft, yeah, Budweiser, I suppose, yeah, class of American adjunct. Anyway, this is Paps Blue Ribbon. Okay, it comes in this big 473 mil can, or 16 fluid ounce. Um, yeah, it's 4.7% ABV, and this can is 1.8 standard drinks. Paps uh, have were on the brink; they're going downhill there for a while, and um, but uh, they got bought out by a family who have uh, brought it back to life. And good on them. So this is imported to Australia by Wow Brands. Um, yeah, it's good law mow beer. It's a, it's a Sunday here. It's pretty hot. I've just been outside mowing the front yard. The next door neighbour's got sheets on their clothes on. So I'm a bit worried about the dust flying up in the backyard. So I thought I'd just come and uh, have a beer for half time. And uh, so we'll go have a Paps, which is a good law mow beer. Okay, I did review this earlier in the year. None of the beef eaters, all the beef are white trash. This is Jed Rubin, so this is Paps. Oh, plenty of smoke coming off that can. Uh, Swill and Grog sent me a bottle. Um, I've done a whole hipster theme, but it's coming back as an everyday beer drinker's beer now. I can't remember if I scored that a B plus, but the bottle was out of date. So this one's a lot fresher. Um, look at that. It's beautiful, typical, nice lager, light golden appearance. You've got a nice, nearly two finger head, plenty of carbonation. Uh, it looks very sexy, this uh, Czech Pills glass. Uh, on the nose, yeah, modest. Oh, I wouldn't say it's a strong adjunct smell in beer. They do use corn syrup in it, they do, don't hide that fact. And it's pretty much just. Um, Nice and clean, really. Uh, there's nothing too offensive coming through the aroma. Just top that up a little bit. Anyway, um, yeah, so let's get into it. Uh, let's quench our first. Cheers. Righto. Sweetness from the malt and the adjuncts. A light body beer. Uh, the sweet flavour with the, the corn and the malt. It's a breadiness to it. It does have low bitterness and it does finish American adjunct dry. This is pretty dry. It's crisp. Super clean, and as Jay from Louisiana would say, refreshing. I know Swimming Grog like this, he had the can and he enjoys, he loves his PBR. It's pretty darn good, it's a real good, it's good out of the can. I had about four last, four last night. I had one in the glass and the others in the can. And after day playing cricket in the sun and having a barbecue. Went down easy, you don't have to think about it. Because uh, Beer Advocate, uh, they get some right score on Beer Advocate, I believe this one, but um, I think the problem that people make is trying to compare an IPA to a lager. And then you got different kinds of lagers, you know, you got your Viennas, you got your Hells, um, you got your Adjunct, and what I class as a craft lager with actually smaller breweries actually use. Hot flowers and pellets in a beer, but um, you get a lot more citrus. But um, yeah, it's a light body beer. It's refreshing. Uh, summer beer. Yeah, you, know, well, you can drink it all year round. You won't get sick, but be nice on tap. But uh, look, I'm pretty happy with it. It's good enough for Clint Eastwood. It's good enough for me. Um, also, if you popular movies, Dale and Tucker movie. Uh, uh, Darwin Tucker versus Evil. 
What's the drink? PBR. <laughs> it's um, ah, it's it's all right. I don't mind it. Pabst Blue Ribbon for the style. I will grade it an A. An A Pabst Blue Ribbon for the American Adjunct style. And that's why I score beer these days. I don't like I said. I try and compare an IPA to an adjunct lager because it's unfair to the beer. It's it's not what the brewer was trying to make. Okay, I'm going to finish this, um, and I'll probably go back to mowing, so take care and buy some PBR. Get in here. Cheers. See you.